Hello everyone, my name is Urshad Radar and I'm a basis architect, uh, basis solution manager, HANA and uh, cloud, AWS, SAP and uh, other certified solution architect. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare our SAP S4 HANA installation on Linux 15 SP6, the latest version of Linux uh, operating system. Today is uh, 26 September um for thursday 2024 and i have decided to make a video on this how to prepare your s4 hana installation on linux 15 sp6 the latest version of linux suse uh what we need to do is first we need to download the suse i have downloaded the iso file then just installed on my machine and um you can register it or you can um, just use uh, the freeware and uh, till the uh, you know uh, registration is over and uh, you can then uh, purchase it or to register the key and um, then use it well what i'm going to show you there are so many features available in uh, suse 15 like uh, we have x manager uh, here you can see the x term here so you can uh, for the people who don't know what's x term is the is it's x min or x manager we used to you know uh, open our we we used to um launch um you know, uh gui related um gui related uh, you know stuff uh, or we can say the gui related uh, uh web browser web browsing related uh App applications or app source if we have to open uh, something like uh, uh, visual admin or something like that previously we used to open a visual admin for the uh, java related um, so, uh, stack like uh, where is it a dual stack or anything related which is like uh, uh, bob j we have to open uh, bob j um, promotion management wizard so we need to log in through the <coughs> we need to log in through this X manager and um, this X manager. So we need to go to this. Uh, we need to go to the particular uh, path and open the uh, put oh, that uh, particular um, you know uh, file. So I'm just also installing SAP GUI on Linux. So I have uh, downloaded the Linux um, this uh, SAP installation file and it's this is the command java dash jar apply them this file then uh, install is the command then once you so once you uh, you know run this command then you will be able to open you will be able to see this uh, sap installation that's sap gui for java installation sap gui for java uh, so da, 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 and something like that but before that i just want to show you some interesting uh, you know uh, you know points like uh, when we are preparing our system we need to um, we need, we need to apply a lot of SAP nodes. Like uh, it's not applying the SAP node, like SAP tune related. We need to how to check the SAP tune. How to uh, you know uh, SAP tune is very much mandatory before installation. Any installation SAP installation. So we are preparing for SAP uh, S for HANA and HANA database. So we need to check whether SAP tune is up or SAP tune is down. So how to check the SAP tune is up? So these are the uh, commands like SAP Tune Solution List, SAP Tune Solution Verify HANA, SAP uh, Tune Solution HANA so, uh, Solution Show List. Again, service status. Let's see if our SAP Tune service status. What is the status of our SAP Tune? Uh, see, SAP Tune is up, and uh, SAP Tune service is up. Tune it service, SAP system. Enabled tune services up enable uh, we'll also restart the SAP tune then we'll see how it's working so it should be like um, when we list SAP tune it should be um, this one you see not available disable in, inactive it means uh, it, this one is you see here sap tune service start 
it's enable and active and uh, staging is disabled means uh, cp tune status is fine so and uh, you see i just applied all this sap tunes related to our installation so let's let's see uh, what is there in sap solution list so you see that i just applied this one sap s4 hana db so what, what i'll do is i will just apply this thing as well like this one then we will check whether this appears or not s4 hana so what is the command is sap tune solution apply then the name s hana app server copy and then we can paste it here apply it's already applied okay i have already applied that one so this one is already applied so if i have to apply for the bob j then i will i'm i have decided to install the bob j as well so what I will do is like um, I will I will do this 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 uh, I will apply this one later because I just want to install first um, this I um, uh, just want to install um, HANA database and then I will install uh, as for HANA app then um, once that is fine once that's done then I will install Bob J on the same host and for the same database we will create it tenant database for bob j uh, separately and we'll create a tenant database for s4 hana and then we'll use the main hana database uh, actually uh, as the uh, as a overall database for both applications like for bob j and s4 hana app so um this is actually i have um, i have uh, done from uh, pre-exist perspective but before that we need to set up um, like uh, we need to have uh, uh, download the media as well as for hana media and everything should be ready so we need to extract the media also we need to have a swpm uh, software so this is the latest uh, java uh, my jdk i have installed if uh, i have to check the version of the java so what i will do is like you can see it here it is it is here user java jdk is here that's the one but we have a command separate command for that we are just executed java dash vrsi on version and hit enter so it will not work here so i was sure about that cd slash okay so go back this will not work here what's the, what's the issue okay let me just open the another ter terminal So what was that? I don't know. I don't want to waste the time here. So just let me just show you what actually um, I have executed here. You can see um, Java dash version, and it shows Java is 23, 20, 0, 2, 2, 2, 4. That's the latest one. I'm running a machine on this one, Java host. So this is here. You can see uh, just a couple of minutes before I just uh, executed the command so java is running right now so let's go ahead and install the sap uh this gui on the linux machine so next and what is the java control grid just html control free control texting okay scrolling down all right so install directories opt and it, 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 this one installation log file is this one so let me just go ahead and check the install duct okay provide version okay that's let me just check the file system i will verify the file system first df minus h okay so what was the file system slash opt slash opt is here i got 60 gb in the slash opt okay i will not change it root sapgui dot so root how much i got 60 okay i am not going to change anything so let's install it here okay it's installing okay 
installation of sap gui for java installed successfully you can see the log copies resources to this one set up sap gui for java all right so sap gui is installed on linux machine so some people may say uh, like some people might uh, you know have uh, doubt like what is their what is their uh, good thing in in this uh, you know installation but yes it's not everywhere we don't have in the project real project you won't have the access no i believe no sap no one from the basis side basis team have the access to the full linux gui desktop so the, I know the business consultants know that. So why I'm showing you that because I am installing it on the machine, like personal machine. So you, I'm having the full access. So no, uh, uh, I don't know whether Linux administrators install directly um, on their machine, but we always install it on anywhere on the a centralized server so that everybody can access. Are we uh, installed um, on the Windows machines? because the, most of the people, I can say, everyone even in the basis consultants doesn't have the access to uh, Linux machines. So um, this is something new actually, our rare cases, rare cases I can say, that's why I have, uh, you know, introduced this thing uh, in, in, my, in my video today, because this, this happens or this materialize in real cases, rare cases, not uh, everywhere. So my machine, the SAP is in, GUI is installed. So what I'm going to do is, let me see, what is that? Yeah, it's here. So you can see my SAP is here. So Java services, then I can create my system. I don't have a system right now. So uh, I don't have anything right now. So I didn't have, I didn't, I did not, uh, I am still to install the uh, Asperhana. So once that installation is done, there are, there's a lot of uh, stuff pending actually from the preparation side. So once that is done, then uh, we will just uh, log in. We will um, you know create the login and then we will install. We will just um, configure the Asperhana from every you know from uh, uh, we can say that like from FICO pros finance prospect to functional prospect to our from a material management perspective, a sales document perspective, because Esperana has got everything in uh, in build. So also we will just install the HANA Studio on the Linux server. So I will create a Linux server, uh, you know, video how to install this. Um, I'm sorry, uh, my apologies. I will create the HANA Studio installation uh, video here. I will install, next we'll be installing the HANA Studio on the Linux 15 SP6. I appreciate guys watching my videos. I request if you can just um, uh, like my video and share my video. That will be an honor for me because I'm doing it free of cost for everyone, for every aspirant who actually, uh, I'm not sure whether you gain something, but I'm giving you at least the hint or I'm giving you at least some kind of boost that yeah, you can do it. That's what my mission is and I'm not earning anything from the YouTube. It's only for the charity perspective, guys. Thank you.